Hello everyone. We will continue the topic PRF plus and in the previous two videos, we started with the creation of a simple PRF plus application. And as a part of that, we firstly created the application. We created the data object. We created the functions. We created the rule set and then we created the rules. Now we will check the output of this BRF plus application. Yes, ultimately at the last, we need to call this BRF plus application from the program because ultimately user will run the program only. But independently, we can check the output of this BRF plus application in the projects also. Once you develop a BRF plus application, you can check the output there itself. Independently, you can check the output of BRF plus application. Then you can simply run from the program also. Call from the program also. So firstly, we will check the output of this BRF plus application independently. Now, this is our function. What is the name of the function? Calculate. Are you able to see this simulate button? Yes. With the help of this, we will simulate the output or we will check the output of our BRF plus application. Many times, people will not remember where the simulate button is. Just remember one golden rule. Function is the main, main heart of BRF plus application. Without function, your functionality is ultimately getting executed because of function only. So it is obviously understood that simulation will be in the function itself because ultimately you are executing the function to check the output. Suppose if you are, if currently I am in function, so I am able to see the simulate button. Suppose if I am closing this, if I will just refresh and yes, page is not responding. I'll just wait. So your simulate button is the part of function itself. It is taking time. I will open again. Okay, I just open. You can see my credentials are automatically coming because I checked at that time. Remember my credentials. Okay. Because it is already logged in. Yes. This is my application. Now, now if you are on to application and you want to simulate, just remember you are simulating a function because function is the main heart because of function only. Yes, we are actual processing of the functionality is because of function only. So you can go to function. If I will go to calculate, you can see we are able to see the simulate button. Now, if I will go to edit button, you can see we have four modes, functional mode, event mode, functional and event mode, analytical mode. Anyways, in the future, we have a dedicated topic on this. But as of now, with the, this particular function, which we are executing, it is in event mode. Anyways, we'll cover all these four modes in detail. As of now, by default, event mode is coming and we choose that particular mode. So our function calculate is using event mode as of now. We are simulating in event mode. Yes, if you are going to function, you can simply expand detail. Once you are expanding detail, you will be able to see the simulate button. 
I will click on to simulation. Now, I will go for continue. We are simulating which particular function calculate. Continue. Now, now you can see what is our input duration. What is the short text of P input duration? And what is our output? Output is interest rate. Now, we have two buttons here. Execute, execute and display processing steps. If you will go for execute, it will simply show you the output. But if you want to see step-by-step -step execution, you can simply, simply click on to this button. So firstly, I will show you through execute. Suppose I am going for duration one. I will go for execute. You can see our output interest rate is seven. We put the rule that if the duration, if the duration is one year, interest rate is seven. I will go for back and see context input result output. I told you at that point of time in BRF plus context is called as input result is called as output. I will go for back. Suppose I am putting to execute. You can see interest rate 8. If I will go for 3, execute, interest rate is 9. Now I will show you the output through this. Suppose if I will put the duration 1. I will go for execute and display processing steps. I will go for this. Now you can see SAP is showing step-by-step -step execution. Just see how it is. Firstly, it started the trace. What is the name of your function? Calculate. And what was the mode? Event mode. At that time, I showed you event mode, functional mode. What is the mode? Event mode. Firstly, context. Yes. But this is your rule set. Rule set. Now, what is your three rules are there? You have three rules. You can see we have three rules. Rule one, then we have rule two, then we have rule three. Okay. What is the input you gave? What is the input you gave? One. P input is equal to one. Now, SAP is checking. One is not equal to three. Condition not fulfilled. Now, many times people will think here. Firstly, what the rule we gave? One. 7 then we give 2 8 3 9 so it means the condition will fulfilled at the first time itself why it is going till 3 just see i will go to back button and show you i will go to back back to work back. just see if i will go to rule set now you will understand fully we gave three rules but when i added the new rule the new rule is on top of this. The new rule is on top of this. So SAP is firstly checking this, checking this, checking this. Yes, I added this first, but SAP added the new rule on top of this. New rule on top of this. That's why SAP is firstly doing this, then this, and then this. Now, if I will go to simulation, this is our calculate. Simulation. Continue. Now, if I will put duration one, execute, you can see first. Now it is going for event. It is going for function calculate event mode. This is our rule set. This is first rule condition not fulfilled. This is our second rule condition not fulfilled. And you can see condition fulfilled. And what is the result? Result is seven. And you can see interest rate 7. And we are able to see the result 7. Now, if I will go for back. And if I will put to execute and display processing steps. You can see first not fulfilled. Second fulfilled. And I will simply got the result 8. And third condition not fulfilled. Now, if I will go for back. And if I will put three, if I will execute, you can see first is fulfilled. We got the interest rate nine. Second, not fulfilled. Third, not fulfilled. 
So you can simply, simply check the result here also. You can simulate the result here itself. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we, und we understood how to check the output by independently of BRF plus application. So you can simply go to function and in that detail, you have an option of simulation. We have four modes, but as of now, by default, we use event mode. Anyways, I will cover all these modes in details in the upcoming video. Once you click on to simulation, you have two options, execute and execute display processing steps. Execute will simply give the output, but if you are going for display processing steps, so it will show you step-by-step step execution, how it is doing. But just remember, function is the main heart because your actual processing of the actual execution of your application is because of this function only. Your actual processing of the functionality is because of this function only. Now, in the next video, we will learn how to call this application from the program because ultimately user will run the program. Yes. So we will learn that part in the upcoming video. Thank you.